Salem, basically, who now lives in Orlando, originally from the New Jersey region. So it's going to be a, really a question of whether or not the local talent here. And it's very fitting that, of course, MBD, Myron, and Mute Ace are the three players to do it. We're starting with game one on Battlefield for top four of Smash Ultimate Miami. And already MBD has stage control, but it's not really going to play as much of a factor in a, as it would in a traditional matchup. Right now, Battlefield's an interesting choice for a first and neutral. Really, these three platforms are, as we call them, triplats. They can really factor into a lot of combos actually being confirmed or deconfirmed for a lot of matchups. Especially with Snake's ability to rise in the air as well and how strong we saw his up air is in previous sets. We may be able to see him close out stocks pretty early with that if he gets him airborne. Gets both hits of F-Tilt there and he's going to push him back off the, the side of the stage. What we're going to see a lot is obviously Myron's going to use these all of for his attacks, but these Pikmin can really, really tank a lot of the explosions as well. They can sort of take the hit for Captain Olimar. I mean, we saw it right there. He was able to use the red Pikmin to just completely negate the Nikita, which potentially could have closed out that stock of these percents. And look at that. Right now, it's going to be so interesting because both these characters do so well and from long distances, right? MBD shooting Nikita's grenades, leaving C4s, whereas Myron can just throw Pikmin all day. So it actually forces the approaching on both sides. Great spot that there for Myron, but wasn't able to contest against MED's jab. The down throw, forward to will kill. That is a very light character, my friend. Yeah, he calls out the, the option there from the down throw, and that's what makes that so beautiful. We've talked many times about how that kills at 160%, but if you read the option out of it, you can actually close that stock at about 50% earlier. He so often is on the option where he runs into your shield to let it whirl down a little bit and then try to hit with up smash, but hasn't worked too much in late bracket right here. And now we can see MBD just setting up his tent at this point, camping away, able to really just put the space between Myron, really forcing him to get through these explosions. And there we go, falling up air from Pearl Pikmin, such a reliable kill move. I think most of the kills we're going to see are actually going to be up airs from those Pikmin against Snake, because he finds himself recovering high so often, and all it takes is one good read from Myron. Yeah, all of ours up air incredibly well. Actually, all of his aerials now are transcendent instead of being projectiles like wow. they were in Smash 4. Okay, and just like that, the forward tilt actually killed Olimar, I think at like 117? The light character. Oh, with right. no rage at all, by the way. Light, light character. That's the problem with spending too much time in zero gravity. Your bone density starts to <laughs> descend over time. Shout out to Interstellar. We're waiting now. MVD, instead of air dodging, pulls out a grenade, pulling out the right pick there. Myron now is looking for that really hard read off the top. 95 won't kill with an up smash, but maybe two of those will. It's interesting to see the short hop actually from Snake going completely over the up smash from Myron. Yeah. That might play a oh, big part in this. Did he land a mine? I can't tell. We're waiting right now. Holding on. You see the double purple Pikmin lineup once again. High damage, high octane from Myron. He's got to find a way to close this dog because he's taking too much damage now on his final one. He's sitting a hyper. Woo, the forward smash is actually enough. Myron bringing it down to a last lock situation for the game one. And that's the beauty of that up smash on sealed. It turns such a dynamic game of smash into really rock, paper, scissors. Do you guess right or do you die? Oh, wait a minute. Strange air dodge, but that up from Pikmin. Very reliable. Staying. Oh, I didn't even see it. MVD sneaking away that first win with a C4. All right. And we've seen that a couple times now in that game one, where he would place the C4 on either side of that left platform. And he missed a couple times with it, but really just staying committed to that game plan, holding it in position and knowing that if he got up from ledge like that, it was going to cover it. Fantastic planning on his part. Yeah, there's only so many places where he can be. And it looks like now they're discussing various options right there. <laughs> I actually love that when two players are actually like after a win, they're just like, well, let's talk about the, why that happened. They actually want to like level each other up. It's really wholesome. Especially in this early meta, we're learning still so much every time we play a game. <laughs> in Melee, if I'm, if I'm in loser semifinals, <laughs> I'm stone dead quiet. You're like, how did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> exactly. Correct. Shout out to Prince Abu. So we're going now game two. Uh, in terms of game one, they went to Battlefield, which I thought was a very odd pick. So I think right now they might hop back to Pokemon Stadium 2, more of a true neutral. And it keeps the C4 away from the neutral getup as well. Right. And ah, all that yeah. right. They're both going to retreat to each side of the platform and throw their friends. Unlike Snake, Almar's friends are actually sentient. They're human, well, not human beings, but they're beings themselves dying for a good cause. 
see this initial start here from Myron. Gets a little bit of percent lead now thanks to the Pikmin damage, but unfortunately, MVD able to just jump out of it. We've seen Myron have to find his way around that. First initially against Dire and Wolf, and now the full hops from Snake and the Cypher High. I'm still stunned how much shield damage the purple ones do. Not even on Smash Tag, but falling up there. Whittles like half your shield down. You think, you think Olimar's gonna get touched up in the next update? Oh, we've seen it so many times. I don't care if he gets touched up because we got up smash, spot dodge, forward smash. One, two, three, one of them's gonna hit. We've seen so far pretty uh, pretty calm approaches to patches so far. We haven't really seen any aggressive yeah, yeah, yeah. nerfing or buffing. So even if he does get hit, I don't think it is gonna be too hard if not, the trends uh, keep up. We're, we're not League of Legends or Dragon Ball Z fighter. Waiting right here. Actually, I was very, very impressed the up smash uh, killed. And now Myron, huge lead, 161. Still waiting right now. MVD perfect air dodge to get away from that assault. What's the kill option? Oh, whistle through! And that's the beauty of it. It's the change. It was initially frame six in Smash 4, now frame two, a true combo breaker. I learn new things every day. He's trying to dash that his shield. Good Nair. Every single hit of Nair hitting. It's amazing the damage output that move has. And now he tried to come down with a grenade. Took a fat up smash so close to dying. Oh Fire my god. Shield down, down smash onto there. And he has to jump there because he can't shield and he's going to get poked regardless. Okay. MVD patiently waiting like a snake in the bushes for that up tilt. But Myron's not budging. We see the grenade in center. We see the grenade in center. And now the Nikita. And this is this distance that Snake is capable of playing at. He's able to take out Pikmin with it as well. He's just throwing them out there now. And look, MVD's already at 149, but now I actually think up till, well, it's definitely going to go now. But Pokemon Stadium, one of the lowest ceilings. You are not wrong. Man, that, that sounds so familiar, it hurts. Waiting for those grenades. Just staying there. Up smash, air dodging, right to the ledge snap. Be oh, very covers. careful. Well, that's, you can't live from those, Myron. Up smash, now he's at his last stock for game two. MVD does have the set lead here, but a blue Pikmin will even it out. We have a 0% last stock situation. Who can control it better right here? And that's the beauty of the brilliance of both of these players. When you see Alomar on ledge and when you see Snake getting hit by up smash on sealed, they have been so good on the mind games, so good on making sure they confirm those stocks. Exactly. And the bread and butter combos are coming out low percent, of course. Myron down throw forward there. But as the percent racks higher, it, your bread and butters don't hit anymore. And you gotta get creative a little bit. You gotta maybe make them budge a little bit. Use mind games to actually get that huge, huge last hit. We were talking before uh, the tournament started, Myron saying how down smash was actually, or excuse me, down throw was nerfed from four into ultimate. It changes the angle, it doesn't confirm as long as you want, as more. And now you see this difference here. He's having to resort to throwing this purple pigment to really control space. He's getting these initial hits, but eventually the HP of that character, that pigment is going to fall. I mean, that down throw was nerfed, but everything oh else was God. fixed. Myron, with no problem at all, taking game two. It is 1-1 one, one apiece. We have now basically made turns into a best of three. We talk about the big brain of Snake players, but MVD going to have to scooch a little bit to the side as the brain expands there for Myron. They both have to adapt very, very quickly. So we saw Battlefield definitely work in MVD's favor. We saw Pokemon Stadium, a much more neutral, well-balanced stage workout for Myron. So where does MVD take Myron now? Looks like we're going immediately back to Pokemon Stadium. Does it, and we've seen that so many times. I love it about Ultimate, is that we don't really see the same stage dynamic in Smash 4, where this is your stage, I'm not going to play on it. This is my stage, you're going to ban it. Here, it's just like, all right, Pokemon, Pokemon. R running it back to a neutral stage is such a flex to me. Like, you think you're good? You're not good. Check this. You see that initial dash attack. That's going to be so important. That's going to be able to burst through those Pikmin tosses, too, with the intangibility on the arms. And Olimar is one of the only characters in the game that when they do a forward smash, like, you, you can change the distance of your forward smash based on how much you charge it. That's a huge deal. And I believe there actually was a glitch in this game where uh, you can only, every single charge with Pikmin has a set, like, power. Yes, they're, you're, you're in a, like, no matter, they how, long that? You, no, no matter oh. how long you charge it, it does not change the knockback. So if you, if you hold it for a full three seconds or if you do it immediately, it doesn't matter. That's, I think, a buff for all of yeah. actually. It's, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a bug. We'll see if they'll fix it. All righty. Because right now, I mean, if you get the hard read, say if you have, like, a shield break, you're not going to get any extra knockback. Right. Myron chasing him down right here. That shield's going down. Great parry from MVD. Looking death in the eye. The Nikita getting involved. 103 for Myron. Staying alive. Oh, the up my to the God. What a Having sequence. to go around the Nikita flying around. Whistles down past that and then eats the trade with the up tilt. 
Very, very smart play from MVD. And Myron, every single time he wants to start a combo, MVD is saying it's fine, I'll get a grenade, but that blue Pikmin, reliable as every day that it is, getting the up throw kill, even on a character as heavy as Snake. That is the power of blue Pikmin. Leave it to Snake, though, to be so qualified and a munition expert, as well as a CQC, so strong oh. in both options. Wow. 69% that was, already. Dude, so much output right here. 100, basically. Shield in the grate, shield in the grenade. Oh, oh shield hit from there, there into up tilt. Oh, up hot light. The madman with a full stock lead. He's saying, look, we're both South Floridians, but only one of us can advance. Myron now looking for some great output himself. Great. 75% string, yeah. missing the upper once again, residually coming down. MVD, we're gonna regret that forward smash. A little bit of a flex moment, it doesn't work out, and he eats so much damage. Again, again. The crowd shrieking collectively at that bazooka. Oh, he cancels the upper the forward, but it's not enough. Grenade getting involved up air, that almost killed. MVD putting so much extra percent. Watch out for the up tilt. Oh, geez. Oh. Go, what's the mix up? All right, Nikita getting around that. Myron not giving up just yet. Here we go. Up tilt. Oh, yeah, there it is. So reliable. It comes out so quick. It cracks his helmet, but will it crack his spirit? Will Myron actually have what's in it right now? Basically on potentially his last match of the whole tournament. Think about how long he's been playing for. A whole weekend of Smash, lots of close games. Found himself in loser's top eight, running it back to top four now. And this is something he's comfortable with. We've seen him make this entire run, was in winner's semis of Frostbite before falling to Leo, and then going all the way back to loser's finals to meet Leo once again. This man does not fear a loser's run. And you do not get seed one without a champion's mindset, which he'll have to employ now more than ever. Let's see what the stage here. Hi. Very quietly, they stand here on our beautiful Ignore my flip -flops. large it's fine. stage. Hey, there we go. You know it's also a beautiful large stage, Yoshi's Island Brawl, with a big platform in the middle. And I think that Myron might have gone here because Olimar really likes to be under platforms. You really like to go for grabs, high octane plays, but with no risk because if Snake goes, he kind of has to angle himself to not land on the platform. His aerials are kind of stuffed there, not to mention a lot of his uh, grenade approaches. These first 30 to 45 seconds are going to matter so much. If either player can establish themselves a lead here, the camp is going to be on. Could you talk about how good Olimar is underneath that platform, and like you said, how hard MVD would then have to work to break into neutral? Well, there's one thing about the stage which you might have considered, and that's this gigantic wall, which you can text so many times to get as a recovery. I, I think neither of these characters can wall jump, though, so that's a bit of a relief. Could you imagine? I snake with a wall jump. Imagine all my thoughts. Whoa! Rest in peace, Pearl Pikmin, but it's okay. I got my copy right here for you. That's the beauty. Alamar obviously into twins. Multiple purple Pikmins. Yep. And he's going to pull out three more. Yellow, red, and purple. Now blue's going to be next up. Oh, it doesn't man. even matter. That went further than I thought I was going to go to. Myron pulling with his first stock. He needs this. He needs to keep lead this game four. He's already oh, the pain! Whoa! And then the nail finishes so strong. Oh, we all kind of open our eyes a little bit. Man, such incredible reaction time from MVD. I've seen parries all day, but none that sick. And now MVD is going to basically put always one grenade on the floor, one grenade on the ceiling. I'm actually really interested to see how Olimar actually works with the slants of this stage. If he gets stuck in the corner, will the Pikmin go as far? Will they get caught on the lip? I think if you up smash a grenade above you, it still hits you. Well, it depends. The Pikmin will die, but maybe not him, because he's really short. Right. MVD now at 96%. He actually has a slight percent deficit cool. here. But remember, this is these two characters couldn't have more different weights. My goodness. Tech chase down smash. Nikita barely hitting him. He's at 108. The next one hitting him. MVD now at match point against Myron. World's best gaming with the world's best sniper right now. MVD looking incredibly strong, trying to force his way into loser's finals. You can't panic here. This is, a, this is pretty much time in a tournament where you need to just stay on your fundamentals, know what works, and don't get overwhelmed. This is going to be really something to look at, too. The down air is, has the Ooh. potential of pushing him off stage if he gets hit with that as he's He gets up. the up air. Myron brings game four to last stock. Such an important point on this set. You see him toss the red. He wants a specific lineup. Blue is up next into the purple-white situation. A lot of the times, it's a bit of RNG pulling the right Pikmin, but if, if he filters them out fast enough, back here to start at 31. 
Oh, he's at 90, though. He needs bigger hits on MVD. The Nikita, not going to hit quite yet. Blue, a oh. little bit more damage, doing 10%, actually. Back throw. Hold on one second. Myron getting snuffed by the angle of the stage. He's waiting a little more. Purple, the percent's racking up. Oh, my God. A dash, dash attack? Oh! <laughs> And the stage what now in the off, world. Closing that out so much earlier. We talked about the low ceilings in this game. Pokemon Stadium, Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Island Brawl, paying off there for Myron, able to close that out at I believe 70% with that up smash. From coming from me, myself, I'm gonna say I was pretty clutch. I have, I have to give him the, the, the clutch check card right there. Very incredible play, and yet we find ourselves with another game five. Every single time. And, also, know it's really sick of seeing ourselves infinity times in that projector. I'm not going to lie. I feel a little inadequate because I've got Walmart flip-flops and you've got the Yeezys on. Uh, they're not Yeezys or NMDs, but thank you. Oh, excuse me. It's an flex. illusion, right? Flex. Hey, it's a soft flex. Kind of like winning with a really bad character. Right. Neither of these are going to be the bad characters. Shout out to Puff and Smash Ultimate. He's waiting right now, and it's... <laughs> This, this set kind of flew by. I, I, I don't know what happened, but it really seemed like short games. Like, the fact that we're already on game five is really surprising to me. Yeah, you almost expect a pretty patient set between these two types of characters, but neither of these players really letting that uh, time build up. Only thing building right now is damage from Myron, already 86% on MBD's first stock. That's the thing about sort of momentum in Smash tournaments. You can be this close to dying as Myron was, but as, as long as you get that clutch ending hit, it's a brand new game, it's a brand new world. It's pretty much a clean slate as soon as any new game starts. And as we see here, Myron actually getting ran back to Battlefield. Not sure if that was a right, I mean, uh, if, if that was sort of catching him off guard there because MVP proved that he's really good on these triplats. The big thing I've seen the difference is Ooh! has been able to break the neutral. He's been able to get in better. He's been able to do more damage. Right. And right there, trading Pikmin into an up smash. It's so good for Olimar in this he game. He threw the Pikmin, it stunned his shield, and then used that stun to land a big, fat purple Pikmin to his face. All right, we look at the double purple and red now. I'm down to one. Oh, wow. the C4. Dude, I, I'm happy I'm not playing MVD. <laughs> I, 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 and see you later. I, I get hit by that every single time, no question. I can't even see it as a commentator right now. And that's really the benefit of it. It shines brightly for just a moment, and then that light goes out. You have to remember where it is. Look at how much damage getting a low percent up smash does. It pops him right up for any arrow that you want. Not to mention a juggle. Great chase right now. Zero to 87, unanswered by MVD, finally getting his own dash attack. Oh, the landing back, back here. here, though. It's going high, but he's going to cover it. No, White Oh, Pikmin. White Pikmin doing a lot of damage. 127, up smash will kill here, but MVD is not going to die anytime soon. Missing the grab! How and many times have we seen it, Hungry Box? My up smash, dude. spot dodge, forward smash. That, that is some unmatched reliability. Shout out to Publix. Please let me see right now. Is MVD going to land one more C4 and bring us to a last stock, or are we going to see Myron run away after an incredible comeback in game four? The damage he's is looking building. fine. He's looking good. He's just the up smash right now. Oh, oh my one. god! One more chance for Myron. MVD is on his last strings. Calling out the S jump too. Oh, going high. Woohoo! I can't believe it. That hold on, so hold on. Last it's, stock. It's game last five. Stock. Could you imagine a if spot MVD in losers finals oh on the line? Oh my god! Fifty percent. No way. He's above him. Misses the grab. What a string from MVD. Forty-nine. That's almost a full rate snake. Be but, very careful. Oh, the Sixty-four. All of a sudden, this would be the Oh my god! Back. Blue! Blue, that's it! Wait. That's it! Oh! oh blue pick! Baby! Myron advances into losers' field! Myron keeping his composure to somehow, beyond all belief, clutch out the game four and then almost get reverse come back on to game five. No rest for the wicked, though. If he is to win this tournament, he is looking at three straight.